Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is The Importance of Measurements in Chemistry. Okay, so chemists are extremely particular about how they take their measurements, um, and that's because it really changes your reaction if you have the correct measurements or not. So let's use an example of just baking a cake, right? Most people have done that. Um, so you know if you have your cake, you're going to have your little ingredients list. So maybe you need to add two cups of flour, a couple of teaspoons of salt and sugar, probably a cup of sugar, I would guess. I bet cakes have a bunch of sugar. So the point is that if you mess up any of these, the cake won't turn out how you need it, right? Baking is very particular. Everyone's had that mistake where you replace a tablespoon of baking soda with a teaspoon of baking soda and your cake tastes terrible. So now imagine that you're in a lab and the experiment that you're doing will control whether or not a cell dies or lives or whether or not a medicine is going to be useful for someone. Well, obviously the measurements are super, super important. So chemists have all these cool things that help them do it very accurately. So one cool thing that chemists use is syringes. And these syringes, like if you ever had your blood taken, you've seen a syringe, that's what they use. But chemists have these crazy ones where the whole syringe might have a volume of 100 microliters, which is uh, 10 to the negative 6 one liter. So super small. And so the whole volume of the syringe in here might be like five drops. And chemists will have to weigh out like a drop and a half because that's how much it calls for. So if you add, you know, three drops and you're supposed to add one, you could mess up your entire reaction and have to do another three weeks of work. Another cool thing that chemists use for measurements is really accurate scales. So if you are going to do a reaction, um, you're oftentimes needing to weigh out these tiny things. And so remember that measurements are also important in chemistry because a lot of the time, what you're doing is microscopic. You can't see it, right? So all the volumes you're using are super small. So you might use your scale to weigh out really just what you could would consider like a pinch of salt or something, something that's only like maybe 10 milligrams, which is, and one gram is already pretty small. And so a milligram is even 10 to the negative three grams. Um, and chemists would take these very, very seriously because they can really affect the outcome of your reaction. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been What is the Importance of Measurements in Chemistry? Mm -hmm.